we will now consider the concept of electric field lines. So why do we need electric field lines? We use electric field lines to get a pictorial representation of the field pattern. And we have some rules on how to construct this uh, pattern. Uh, the first one is that the electric field at a point P is tangent to the electric field line at that point. So if you have, for example, uh, an electric field at this point, so if you have an electric field line pointing like this, the electric field at that point will be tangent to this uh, electric field line. Uh, the number of lines per unit area perpendicular to the lines is proportional to the electric field magnitude. So we look at a perpendicular area to the lines and we look at the number of lines crossing perpendicular to, uh, perpendicular to this area. That will be proportional to the electric field magnitude. Uh, for example, if you consider a positive charge and the negative charge here to two cases, the lines leaving the positive charge will be crossing a perpendicular area, that's the surface area of a, a sphere. The surface area of a sphere is four pi r square. So the electric field magnitude at a distance r from this charge will be proportional to the number of lines divided by four pi r square. So at a distance r, from this uh, charge, we will have the electric field magnitude proportional to capital N, the number of lines divided by 4 pi r squared, the number of lines crossing that perpendicular area. The third rule, the lines must begin on a positive charge and terminate on a negative charge. For a positive charge, the lines are beginning at this charge and terminating at the negative charge at infinity. For a ne negative charge, they're beginning at infinity and terminating at the negative charge uh, in this case. Um, the number of lines leaving a positive charge or approaching a negative charge is proportional to the magnitude of the charge. So if I draw uh, so many lines here, so how many lines do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lines. If I make this charge 2Q, then I would have to draw 24 lines. 3Q, then I would have to draw 36 lines. And similarly, in this case, for the negative charge here, minus Q, I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lines. Uh, terminating at this negative charge. If it is minus 2q, there would be 24. Minus 3q, 36 lines terminating at this charge. Okay. No two field lines can cross. So you cannot have a, a field line that is basically like this and another field line like that. They cannot cross. So the crossing is not allowed. So we have already talked about plus q as an isolated single charge will have all the lines pointing radially outward terminating at infinity. An isolated negative charge will have all field lines terminating at the negative charge originating at infinity. And the electric field magnitude is proportional to 1 over r squared. It's kq over r squared if you remember. r is the radial distance from the charge and that is uh, basically proportional to the number of lines divided by the perpendicular area 4 pi r square for a surface area of the sphere. Now another example is a dipole. So if I have a dipole, I have plus q and minus q. According to my rules, the number of lines leaving the plus q must be equal to the number of lines terminating at minus q, since they have the same magnitude of charge, but opposite signs. Uh, so you can see here that I will have some uh, electric field uh, lines that will be originating at plus q, terminating at minus q like this and when I go uh, far away from the region intermediate between them then I will have uh, these lines basically uh, going to infinity so these will be basically terminating like this all right 
Uh, now, if I change this situation, if I have plus 2q here and minus q here, uh, then I must have uh, twice the number of uh, lines, two field lines leave plus 2q for every one that terminates on minus q. So how many lines terminate at minus q? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I must have 16 lines originating from plus 2q. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? So uh, the, the number of lines is proportional to the amount of charge, the magnitude of charge. All right? And if I have this situation, plus Q minus, uh, plus Q plus Q, two charges with the same sign here, then all the lines should terminate at infinity. So what I will see is that in between the two, the electric fields will be cancelling out. So the electric field at point C will be equal to zero. That's because you have no lines going through point C. If I'm at point A, which is close to this charge, uh, Q, the number of lines per perpendicular uh, area at this region will be high compared to the number of lines per perpendicular area and in this region. So I will see that the electric field at point A will be higher than the electric field at point B, will be higher than the electric field at point C, which is equal to zero. And remember that uh, I have 1 over R squared dependence for the electric field. So when I go far away from the charge distribution, I will have a decrease in the electric field. So that's reflected also in this relationship between the electric fields at points A, B and C. Okay, so we have talked about the concept of electric field lines that give us a pictorial representation of the field pattern. We have five rules. Electric field at a point P is tangent to the electric field line at that point. So what is the electric field at this point here? Well, you have to draw a tangent to the electric field line and that gives you the electric field at that point. That's the first rule. The second rule, the number of lines per unit area perpendicular to the lines is proportional to the electric field magnitude. Um, for example, for an isolated positive charge here, its number of lines divided by 4 pi r square is basically proportional to the magnitude, which is proportional to 1 over r square. The lines must begin on a positive charge terminate on a negative charge. The number of lines leaving a positive charge or approaching a negative charge is proportional to the magnitude of charge that we have seen here. Number of lines leaving plus 2q is twice the number of lines terminating at minus q. And no two field lines can cross we can have only one solution for the electric field here. This is the electric field. I cannot have another uh, field line crossing like this that would give a tangent different from this one. So that's not allowed. So no two field lines can cross. So we have seen example of isolated charges plus Q lines terminating at infinity minus Q lines originating at infinity terminating at the minus charge. For a dipole we have the same number of lines leaving the plus Q and terminating at minus Q and uh, we have plus 2Q minus Q example twice the number of lines leave plus 2Q that compared to the number of lines terminating at minus Q and we can compare the electric field magnitudes by looking at this field pattern right away here at point C between two plus Q's we have no electric field uh, at point B, that's a rather far distance from the two charges, we will have a small electric field compared to a point that is closer to this charge distribution at point A.